Hello, everybody, and welcome back yet again to another drum playthrough review. Thank you all for tuning in and stopping by. Great to have everybody here again. And for all you who are brand new, hello and welcome. My name is Nikolai. I'm a drummer and a multi-instrumentalist, among other things, and we like to do these videos so that way we can break down the technique of drummers who are much better than we are, analyze their technique and digest it, and make it a nice and easy to digest form to understand it, and use that so that way we can ultimately become better musicians ourselves and grow our understanding of our instruments. And we've got a returning Chad on the channel today. I reviewed him in the past previously with a uh, a drum playthrough that he did with Sepultura and then a couple things have changed since that video. Now I know this is probably old news by the time this video is going to be airing but we're going to be reviewing Eloy Casagrande today. He was the drummer of Sepultura for like 13 plus years. Dude put in a lot of effort with that band and he is known for absolutely mad power, insane, insane chops and all that stuff. The dude is, the dude is absolutely sick and he is an absolute powerhouse. There's Fortissimo when it comes to power on drums and then there's Casa Grande Tissimo as I heard in the uh, comments of this playthrough right here. It, the power is absolutely nutty. The dude can beat his drums harder than anything else. Now, a couple things have changed as far as uh, Eloy Casa Grande and Sepultura is concerned. Randomly, just out of nowhere, Sepultura announced that they were doing a farewell tour because after 40 years as a band, they decided they wanted to hang up the banner. And then Eloy Casagrande announced that he was going to be leaving Sepultura and, you know, left them and while they were doing the tour rehearsals. So now they have Grayson Necrotman as their stand-in, as their drummer. So that's cool. Regardless of which band Eloy is in, Eloy Casagrande is an absolute powerhouse and he's a legend and we're reviewing him today. So we're going to take a look at his technique today. He's doing a drum playthrough of the Heretic Anthem by Slipknot. So I already know that this video is going to get demonetized. So go ahead and just leave comments down below. Let me know what you guys think of the playthrough that we're going to be reviewing and what you think of Eloy Casagrande because I think the dude is a mad legend. So let's go ahead and get into it and let's see what kind of stuff we can learn from Eloy. Before we start though, I check my YouTube analytics as any good creator should and only about 0.7% of you guys are actually subscribed to the channel. What are you guys doing with your lives? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. We do a lot of fun stuff and a lot of videos just like this on here. We're going to have a lot more fun content coming your way, so stick around. It's going to be a fun, fun journey. All right. Well, guys, let's dive right in. Let's see what this man's talking about. Hey, today I'm going to play a Slipknot song uh, called The Heretic Anthem, and I'm going to record my drums on top of a drumless track. So do you want to know mm. how is it possible? Uh, I'm using yeah, because he's sponsored by Moises right here. Moises. So he's getting paid I for this. Here, I uploaded the song, the Heretic Anthem, but you can upload any song that you want, any song from your library or from the internet. And after a, a few seconds, the app separated all the instruments. So I have here now single tracks with vocals, drums, bass, guitar, and keyboards. So, now so real quick, I've tried using this app before. Things can sound a little bit wonky, but yes, it does absolutely work. And once you mix it in with whatever other drum tracks you're using, it kind of masks a little bit how it sounds. But yeah, things can sound a little bit funny on that app. But yes, it does absolutely work. So if you're looking to put up covers and all that, you can upload whatever songs you have in your library and, you know, take out drums, take out bass, take out guitars or whatever else you want to do. So yeah, it's, it's something interesting to see. I'm able to do a volume mix or I can simply take any instrument out that I want. So, for example, I'm gonna play this song and I'm gonna take the vocals out. So, no vocals, right? Yeah, like I said, it so sounds a little, a little funny when out. you listen to it. Cool, right? So now- But I'm it is very interesting that they've gotten this technology now. So I'm gonna take out the drums. Also, the app generates automatically a metronome. So I'm gonna add the metronome and I'm good to go. So I'll come here and I will export the mix. So I can send it by mail or whatever. So imagine, now you are able to play with your favorite band, with your favorite artist. And that's honestly how a lot of drummers, at least more recently than not, <laughs> have been doing their drum covers and all that stuff is that they'll actually go in using this app and take out the drums and all that and then just clean up the mix a little bit. It's a very, very, very useful tool. And have fun. Okay, so after you watch this video, click on the link in the description, download the app and get crazy. All right, so now here we go with the song, The Heretic Anthem. The Heretic Anthem! The Heretic Anthem! 
It reminds me of me a little bit when I was uh, a little nutcase. Here we go with this power here. Look at that. Oh! Oh, that swivel is so good. Yeah, the power that he generates, he doesn't need triggers. He's excellent. Super clean. And those fills sound so damn punchy. So it looks like he's using lower spring tension <clears throat> with a chain driven pedal. Very, very good power, very good swivel technique. It's not a pressure swivel, it's just regular swivel technique. And those rim shots are super consistent. And he's adding ghost notes in too, so he's got excellent dynamic control. And he's adding chops in there too, Joey didn't add in, so that's cool. This is absolutely excellent. That power is just unmatched. I will say that for sure. Yeah, so there is... Let's see. There is no triggers anywhere. He's got microphones hooked up underneath the drums. This is excellent. Oh, Lord. <laughs> it looks so damn cool when he's doing all those crossovers. And he's doing that single leg. I like that. Nice modulated fills, too. He's adding a lot of extra stuff in that's a lot of his own style, and I love that. A lot of people are speculating that he's the new drummer for Slipknot, and honestly, <laughs> if he is, then I would go see Slipknot again. And I know I've said bad things about Slipknot in the past, but I would love to see this man play. Like, just look at that. Absolutely insane chops, and he's keeping loose the entire time. A lot of it's wrist technique, full leg, swivel. Ankle motion as well. Like you cannot tell me you would love to see that live, man. Like that that that's amazing. Can't tell me you'd hate to see that live. <laughs> I wonder how many takes it took for that video though, because honestly, he put in his heart and soul into that. So Without further ado, let's get into the review, guys. Man, he never disappoints, and I will say that for sure. The dude is an absolute madman and a powerhouse. So for one, he's doing a lot of really fancy stuff on there, and a lot of that stuff comes from years and years and years of practice. You remember previously that I've mentioned before on the channel that there is a triangle that we have, and I've mentioned it before in previous whiteboard videos, where you have power, stamina, and speed, and how there has to be a balance between those three, or you can only have two of the three and have to forsake the other. Eloy has very good, very good stamina, very good power, and he has very good speed as well. Now, mind you, he does have a nice little sweet spot where all those three are combined, but also he's not always going as fast and as hard as he can the entire song. He has dynamic switch-offs where he can take a little break or where he's going kind of slower, so that way he can kind of catch his breath again and get back up there, so that way his speed can increase. The dude 
dude man has definitely put in lots and lots of work and lots and lots of effort and he is adding all sorts of really crazy and interesting fills into the song a lot of really great cymbal work going on there a lot of really cool little rudiment fills and all that and also modulated fills which i absolutely love modulated fills are absolutely my thing i think those are fantastic you'll notice that he is keeping very good timing as well because he's practiced relentlessly with a metronome and he probably played this with a metronome as well even though the song wasn't recorded with a metronome but regardless of that he has put in tons of effort he has listened to this music for a majority of his life so this is honestly something that he's trained his whole life to be able to do and that's years and years and years of practice that he's showing behind the kit and it's absolutely fantastic now what are ways that you can get that same power and that same speed and all those chops and all that practice that's really the secret to be able to do any of that stuff it's just practice 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 once you're able to actually sit there and get in really good quality practice and start out slow and being able to build that muscle memory you'll be able to build all those chops all that speed and all that consistent power and stamina just as long as you are consistent with your approach to how you do things and you're not skipping your practice or skipping out on your practice and you're at least getting in the minimum target of like 10 minutes a day, which according to all scientific research is the minimum amount of practice that you need to start instilling things into muscle memory, then you'll be able to succeed. And obviously, as we can see with Eloy, he's still very loose, has insane power while having really good solid technique. That swivel was absolutely fantastic. His power is really good. He was keeping very loose with his wrist technique while also very powerful at the same time. Congrats to him, by the way, on whatever new project that he's working on. If he is with Slipknot, by God, they're about to become way better of a band than ever before. So with all that being said, y'all, that's the end of this playthrough review. Thanks for tuning in and stopping by. Leave a comment down below what you think about Eloy Casagrande and what you think of his drip. Ah, listen to me. His drum playthroughs, I think he's absolutely sick. And with all that being said, y'all, that's the end of this video. So don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Thanks for tuning in and stopping by. And God bless. I'll see you guys later.